Attention Deficit Disorder versus Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, are a continuum of conditions characterized by impulsivity, inattention and hyperactivity. The gene causing the condition is DRD4. It also confers unusual intelligence on modern humans. It's been called the Edison gene. Attention Deficit Disorder versus ADHD Continuum Disorders have been found to be critical asset for the survival of ancient humans 10,000 to 50,000 years ago. If you have a variation of a particular gene, your survival in the wild was greatly enhanced. Hunter-Gatherer Theory of Attention Deficit Disorder ADHD If you're walking through the forest, looking for something to eat and you don't see anything to eat, you need to scan more aggressively. You need to be noticing everything around you. This is called distractibility. A human gene study in the proceedings of the National Academy of Science suggests that behavior considered inappropriate in a classroom, or a detriment to learning, was related to behavior that once helped adapt to and overcome their environment. The mind is neurotransmitter plays a major role in the brain system that's responsible for reward-driven learning. Every type of reward that has been studied increases the level of dopamine transmission in the brain. People with extroverted reward-seeking personality types tend to show higher levels of dopamine activity than people with introverted personalities. Attention Deficit Disorder ADHD Controversies The modern observed characteristics of Attention Deficit Disorder ADHD are the same as survival genetic adaptations of ancient human populations conferred by the DRD4 gene should millions of people be medicated to control a positive 40,000 year old survival genetic adaptation, is Attention Deficit Disorder really a least hallmarks of Attention Deficit Disorder ADHD are impulsivity, inattention, hyperactivity and distractibility have these traits? There's a 50% chance you have a variant of a DRD4 gene that causes attention deficit disorder ADHD. This is the same gene that gave ancient humans a positive survival advantage have several of these characteristics. Can sit still tree to do many things I don't see it take out size risks get bored ease in the mind race to talk a mile and then new teasing out hate poor self control can stay focused it can complete tasks poor listening skills it can follow directions you interrupt others I easily addict and struggles to complete tasks so there's a good chance you'll be diagnosed attention deficit disorder ADHD and medicated Dopamine and Attention Deficit Disorder ADHD Dopamine is neurotransmitter plays a major role in the brain system that's responsible for reward-driven learning. Every type of reward that has been studied increases the level of dopamine transmission in the brain. People with extroverted reward-seeking personality types tend to show higher levels of dopamine activity than people with introverted personalities. Hunter-Gatherer Theory of Attention Deficit Disorder ADHD If you're walking through the forest, looking for something to eat and you don't see anything to eat, you need to scan more aggressively. You need to be noticing everything around you. This is called distractibility. A human gene study in the proceedings of the National Academy of Science suggests that behavior considered inappropriate in a classroom, or a detriment to learning, was related to behavior that once helped adapt to and overcome their environment. Farmer traits constant monitoring of the environment the ability to enter the chase on moments not a she flexibility a readiness to quickly change strategic tirelessness the ability to sustain drive but only when hot on the trail of some goal of visual concrete thinking clear sight of a tangible goal even if there are no words for idea independency of becoming bored by routine tasks enjoying new ideas excitement the hunt willingness and ability to take risks and danger no time for niceties when there are decisions to be made decisions dopamine and attention deficit disorder adhd dopamine is neurotransmitter plays a major role in the brain system that's responsible for reward driven learning Every type of reward that has been studied increases the level of dopamine transmission in the brain. People with extroverted, reward-seeking, personality types tend to show higher levels of dopamine activity than people with introverted personalities. Hunter gather a theory of attention deficit disorder ADHD. If you're walking through the forest, looking for something to eat and you don't see anything to eat, you need to scan more aggressively. You need to be noticing everything around you. 
This is called distractibility. A human gene study in the proceedings of the National Academy of Science suggests that behavior considered inappropriate in a classroom, or a detriment to learning, was related to behavior that once helped adapt to and overcome their environment.